Creating Regenerative Living Models. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 442. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our September 12, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and we want to talk about, specifically, I want to talk about creating regenerative living models today, because uh, that's one of those things that people might have a question about. It's like, well, what do you mean by regenerative? You know, it seems kind of like a woo-woo uh, term. Like, what does that really mean? And very specifically, you know, the original uh, template for one community was to be a holistic health retreat. And it has evolved into a nonprofit organization and seven different sustainable village models. And we've had over 600 volunteers contribute to our project to this point now. And we've been working on it now for a decade to create it as a complete regenerative community that's not only regenerative for the planet, which is what most people think of as like, oh, sustainable communities for regenerating the planet. Of course, of course, sustainability, that's that's good. We want to regenerate the planet. But it's so much more than that. I mean, it is that. That is a huge foundation. The idea of using permaculture to have food production practices and using community to have community models that are designed to take care of and steward our local areas, our property, and even the surrounding areas of the property, if that's an option, but demonstrating that we can be stewards, conscious and conscientious stewards, creating regenerative models for the planet that build ecosystems, that grow food without poison on it, you know, that, that raise animals holistically, and also regenerative for the people that are living there, and not just the people that are living there, but also for the people that visit such a place. And so one community is meant to be that. And the whole model is designed so that the more fun that we're having, the more amazing that we create our environment, the more we will thrive and be able to expand our environment. So creating regenerative living models isn't just about regenerating the planet. And it's really not just about regenerating individuals. It's about a complete regenerative model that is self-sustaining in that the more that it succeeds, in demonstrating happy people living happy lives, thriving, the more that it will be able to self-replicate. And so the way that it does that is you see everything that's happening in the background of this, this video is designed as a ecotourism destination and the holistic living model, the fulfilled living model, the social architecture is designed to have a contribution aspect of it so that it provides a diversity of things to do within this environment, all within walking distance, all free to everybody that lives there and even to the visitors. And so when somebody comes and visits, it's like a club med or a cruise ship where everything that you could want to do and so much more than you would ever be able to do, even in a major metropolitan area, you know, especially within walking distance, is all right there within walking distance, you know? So if you want to play a soccer game or do a pickup basketball game, there's people available to do that. And there's probably something like that already happening, if weather permits. If you'd like to go on a nature walk or you'd like to, you know, do a, a book club or something like that, all these things are built into the social architecture because it's meant to be regenerative to the soul as much as it is to the planet. And so creating regenerative living models for us is about building a foundation of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing. Everybody knows about that. To reduce the cost of living, to do right by the planet, to uh, demonstrate sustainability from that perspective, and then building on that foundation with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. And putting all that together as a way of living that will be regenerative and nurturing to the, nurturing to the individual. You know, creating community models based on shared values 
and in our case, the sh a shared value of contribution, of making a difference in the world, and all the benefits that come along, the good feelings and all the wonderful joy that comes along with that, the, the healing aspect of knowing that you're living in integrity with every moment of your life. And you're in an environment where everybody is dedicated to living and creating for what we call the highest good of all people in life on this planet and working together to help each other to do that, to saying, how can we live even more for the highest good of everything and everyone on this planet? How can we make an even bigger difference? And so our entire value structure is designed around this. And we highest good is one of our highest values, along with open source and sustainability. Those values are the umbrella that all of our other values are underneath so that everything that we do is regenerative to us as individuals, regenerative to the planet, locally regenerative, like regionally regenerative. But if you look at it globally regenerative as well and open sourcing and free sharing, so we can create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of these teacher demonstration hubs demonstrating a better way of living a more fulfilling, more holistic, more enjoyable way of living, at least in our example. Now, it's open source and free share. So for somebody that's like, oh, that holistic stuff, I'm not interested in that. I really just want to create this kind of community. I'd rather do this instead. It's open source and free share to create that. So then for somebody that sees that as regenerative, maybe it's based on safety and security. Maybe it's based on art. Maybe it's based on who knows. It can be based on anything. Whatever it is that people are interested, they can bring together others that share those values and create those regenerative communities for themselves. And because it's built on sustainability, because really the sustainable infrastructure that reduces the cost of living, you know, eliminates the need to drive for most things, you know, localizes food, localizes education and the complete comprehensive model, because it's built on sustainability that allows for all those things, it is by nature regenerative for the planet. And so this is our idea of creating regenerative living models. It's so much more than just regenerative for the planet and so regenerative for the planet too. This is what we're doing. This is how we see world change happening. We're making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own, becoming self-replicating, and has the possibility to create a sustainable world, a sustainable civilization, sustainable humanity within our lifetime by reaching that tipping point of participation that it positively impacts the lives of everyone and everything on this planet and starts to truly regenerate the planet, building ecosystems, restoring our forests that are being cut down, improving our air quality, restoring our, our aquifers, restoring uh, the quality and cleanliness of our water, all of these things simultaneously working towards all that and achieving all that through a model like this. So that's what one community is up to. This is what we're doing. And, you know, we're an all volunteer, all volunteer organization creating this. Uh, we've been at, been at it for 10 years. We've got a couple more years, we think, before we're ready for construction. And, um, yeah, if you'd like to get involved, check out our helping page. If you'd like to see everything that our volunteers have done last week, visit our uh, weekly progress update with the same name as this blog, as this video. And uh, if you'd like to see all of our open source content, everything that we've created and continue to create, visit our website. We're getting her done. So with that said, stick around for another couple of minutes. You want bullet points and all the major components of our project. And as always, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property.
one community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.